गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल हैव एन्जॉयड द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ आर थर्ड लेसन दैट इज सिंगिंग ग्रासेज एंड टार्जन वाइन्स एंड आई ऑल्सो थिंक दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड द रीडिंग ऑफ द स्टोरी फ्रॉम देयर बुक्स बाय देयर ओन बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी so students now without wasting our time let's continue the story so open your books at page number 20 and read the story with me for this first of all we should take a look on some difficult words which are new for us and difficult to pronounce the words are dangerous journey porcupine growling yawn and drowsy you should underline the words in your book learn them and note down also children some word meanings given at page number 20 first one is growling growling means making a low and harsh sound and second one is drowsy drowsy means sleepy children now let's continue the story hang on tight wicks don't worry children it's not much longer to mona shrampur pati looked around her this bit of the forest was familiar to her means she knows about this part of the forest very well after we get through this clump of trees we come to the most dangerous bit of our journey we have the singing grasses to the right of us and the porcupine cacti to the left of us the singing grasses are dangerous because you can drown their humming by either speaking or singing loudly I have always found it best to recite something that will keep you alert like the multiplication tables that way we don't shh wait a minute pati stop talking and listen they could hear a low growling sound in this paragraph we can see that pati knows very much about this part of the forest where they will get some singing grasses and uh, pati is continuously giving instruction to her grandchildren so that they should be alert and careful also i am quite sure there are no wild animals here what could that sound be oh my gosh pati look it's those two jelly bellies those two table tummies those wicked men who try to sink us that boatman called khabardar and the man in the motor boat lela said these words pati and the children were peering through the snake shaped creepers that dropped down from the trees like a curtain across their path yes it was khabardar and the man in the motor boat they lay on the grass fast asleep their mouths wide open as they snored how had these wicked villains got here pati wondered feeling her eyelids drooping she yawned feeling rather drowsy drowsy means sleepy means pati has seen that the khabardar and the men in the motor boat were getting fast asleep in the forest and they started also yawning they were feeling quite sleepy now some more difficult words i would like to add which we are getting on page number 21 they are first sternly second dreaded third horribly fourth distracted fifth clasped sixth wheezed seventh scrambled eighth jolted ninth fumbled and tenth parched 
students you have to underline these words on this page and note down in your notebooks some word meanings given on this page are distracted means lost focus clasp means held tightly whisked means moved very quickly scrambled moved quickly in an ungraceful manner jolted jolted means started with a sudden rough movement fumbled means tried finding the bottle using the hands in an ungraceful manner dashed off means left quickly and parched means dried due to thirst children then pati shook herself sternly means strongly this sleepiness was just the effect of the dreaded singing grasses of the one kolimoli forest the two villains had probably made the mistake of riding through the grasses that's why they were feeling sleepy and been thrown off their ponies right into the middle of the singing grasses that's why they were still fast asleep seven ones are seven seven twos are fourteen damu shouted loudly when he realized that pati was feeling sleepy don't let the singing grasses get to you pati come on vix and lala he urged start speaking or singing loudly sure so now vix who could never remember his multiplication tables burst into a horribly tuneless ba ba black sheep with such unexpected loudness that his pony was startled into shooting off at a fast trot this distracted pati in the middle of her eight eights are so she did not hear a whooshing sound she didn't hear lala and damu yell watch out pati that looks like a tarzan wine suddenly pati felted herself being clasped around the waist lifted right off her pony whizzed through the air and finally released with a soft thud right on to something which felt as springy and spongy as a water bed when she scrambled up in a daze she realized she had been carried by the tarzan vine and thrown right on to the sleeping khabardar 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 was jolted awake he shrieked his face turning white in terror the old woman i drawn her she has returned as a ghost to haunt me help ghost the man who had been driving the motor boat woke up and joined the yelling here according to the story pati was caught by the tarzan vines and thrown on to khabardar now khabardar who was quite sure that she, he had drawn the old woman pati but when he saw pati again he thought that she had died and now she had turned into a ghost both khabardar and the boatman started to cry for help 9281893027 pati shouted again the humming was so much louder right in the middle of the grasses that she had to yell at the top of her voice now khabardar shouted for help again e help this ghostly witch is chanting mantras and spells at us where's my bag i have a gun the word gun steered pati to action she fumbled in the silk purse at her waist for the only weapon she had with her the bottle of concentrated wonder go supersonic hair tonic she removed the little cork stopper and flung the thick liquid onto their faces the man screamed in surprise 
Fatih dashed off without stopping to look back at the two men trying to rub the chocolate-colored liquid off their faces. The children were waiting for her on the narrow path between the porcupine cacti and the singing grasses. Lala and Damu were tiredly chanting the multiplication tables as loudly as their parched throats would allow them. So up to this page we got about the journey of Pati and how they got themselves free from the Khabardar and the boatman. Rest part of the story we will continue in our next class. Till then keep learning.